the scientists have no First Amendment protection, none. They're, they're not free to speak out anyway. Now, as I've mentioned in the past, there's a federal gag order. I want all your listeners to consider that. There's a federal gag order on all National Weather Service and all NOAA employees. I mean, how much more obvious is this situation? They're trying to plug leaks in the ship. And we have environmental scientists being fired all over. Canada's let go a, a huge number of their scientists. Australia has just fired 450 of their frontline environmental scientists. Why? Because they want to cover up what's happening in any way they can. And again, uh, they're simply trying to obscure the severity of what's unfolding from the public as long as possible. So I would argue this again. If we don't take care of what's happening in our environment, in our skies right now, uh, nothing else is going to matter. All these financial plans that people have and, and all their, their, their future uh, aspirations won't mean anything soon. And you are all being affected by this. You better wake up, look up, and realize what's being dumped upon us. Do your research and turn off the TVs, all of you. This is for real. Our own government, the United Nations, is making us sick, and you better wake up. You, sir, doctor, you have a public responsibility to look into this instead of listen to this. This is terrible. I want some answers. Let's hear it. We're not going to respond. Why? Why won't you respond? This is the public health board. I'm sick. You're supposed to help. Let's hear it. Who wants to drink the water? The DEQ says this is safe to drink. Does anybody want to drink some rainwater? Nobody's raising their hands. My time is up. My time might be up very soon. As well as many other people. You better really start using your noodle, what it was made for. Don't just watch TV and take this kind of propaganda to put down the research of scientists for 15 years. What we are seeing is man-made, but man-made in a different way than you may guess. Uh, weather modification programs, experimental ones done by private companies, done by the United States government, uh, done by states across the United States are underway. There's more than 50 of them in operation across the United States. All of these impact agriculture because they change the microclimates needed for agriculture to survive. None of these programs that I know of today, and this is all public record, are available at any time uh, with oversight. Agriculture